Uhuru has never been in the uh, habit of disrupting things. He was in learning this country for 10 years when we even had COVID. And he always reached out to people so that you, they, we can come, come, let us talk and listen together. The thought that he would use his time to try and scuttle uh, the dialogue is really misplaced, is far-fetched, but in keeping with the character of KK of looking for scapegoats when they have no idea as to what to do. It was his idea from the beginning that form even the coalition called as Mio so that you can bring leadership together, bring people as many as uh, you can together because that way the country moves better. It is KK who thinks that uh, they can manage it alone. That is not anywhere within uh, his psyche or his reasoning. He has never attempted to disrupt uh, or scuttle uh, Nadok. Um, housing levy. We struggled from day one to say that the housing levy was an illegal thing. We even gave them the example of how Uhuru had handled the issue of housing. the courts and we really want to thank the courts because um, they may end up being the only last institution left to save this country. Bunge hakuna. Hiyo ili ili tokome gia dani gia dani. That's because that's because um, they may end up being the only last institution left to save this country. Bunge hakuna. Hiyo ili ili tokome. Kabisa hiyo imezo kila kitu kingine yote tunasikia hata eh, Kenya gazeti na adikiwa state house na na huyu mtu hata nyenye mnatuliza maswali wacha tuwaulize unaweza edesha Kenya gani na zile shida tuko ukiwa juu ya gari kichwa tu tunakuona kichwa tu ukitoka kwa juu ya gari unaingia ndani ya ndege wewe hey, wacha kuchezea sisi just give up and go home that's why we need ibc so that i think they'll give up any other question oh my god yes, we are in trouble yeah, Yes.